Hello. Yeah. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to go through the steps uh, for performing the Cochrane Lento Hansel test. So the CMH test is a statistical method used to determine whether there is a significant association between two categorical variables controlling for the effect of the third categorical variable. And usually, uh, the third variable is a potential confounder. And uh, to perform the CMH test in R, we need to install and load the library for the VCD. And then you need to um, compute the three variables. Uh, here we are just using hypothetical data, uh, which is created made by ourselves. But if you have a real data set, uh, you need to think about how to get the exposure, how to get the outcome, and how to get the confounder. Okay. So here we have severity, treatment, and cured. And uh, the exposure is treatment. So one is new drug, two is placebo, cured is the outcome, uh, one is uh, cured, and zero is not cured. And severity, we have mild, moderately severe, then mild, moderately severe, and mild, moderately severe. Okay, so, um, okay, so let's write this in to R. And after you have the three variables, you need to construct a contentious table. For example, you can use the x caps command. Here, uh, this is the syntax. Uh, you use x tab here, the cured plus treatment plus severity. And then you can simply feed this uh, contentious table object into mental hands of TST. Uh, TS, TST. Print out the outputs. Uh, you can see um, by default it gives you mental hands of chi-squared test with continuity correction. Um, it reports the test statistic, the degree of freedom, and the p-value. And the alternative hypothesis is the true common author ratio is not equal to 1. I think the p-value is uh, 0 0.83. It's very large, so we um, accept the null hypothesis, uh, and that's why the uh, R function mental hands dot test also compute a common answer ratio. In this case, is a point five. Uh, I want to say uh, this is example is really simple. It's a quick way for you to perform the CMH test, uh, and there are more complicated. Uh, I think the R documentation has more complicated uh, examples. Uh, you need to construct the data into an array and then call the uh, mental heads down test uh, function. Okay, uh, this is uh, uh, really a brief uh, introduction to the CMH test. Thank you so much.